Hello and welcome to this new video of the list dedicated to the programming of the ESP32 in an easy way. Today we will see the basic operations that you have to know about the MQTT protocol. The MQTT protocol is super easy to make communication between devices. It could be computers, different ESP boards, Raspberry Pi or even a mobile phone. The communication could be done locally or over the internet. It will allow us, for example, to control the ESP32 from anywhere in the world. In the MQTT architecture, you have a server called a broker. I have installed a program called a Mosquito on my computer. The devices can send the data to the broker. The operation is called the publishing. The devices can also receive information. For that, they need to subscribe to a topic and any time there will be a change on the uh, data, the subscriber will be updated. The tutorial is divided into three steps. In the first step, I will try to make a MQTT communication inside my computer. This step is important to be sure that my local broker is working. In the second step, I will publish or send some data with the ESP32. And in the last step, I will subscribe to a topic and uh, get data inside uh, the ESP32. This is the site uh, of the broker program. It is called uh, Mosquito. After installing the program, I need uh, to run it. I will also make uh, some uh, tests. With the command uh, line, you need to execute uh, the Mosquito program. Go to the Mosquito folder and uh, run it. Now my server is running, don't close uh, this uh, uh, window. Now I will check uh, the IP address of my uh, computer. In this step, I will subscribe my computer to a topic and when any device will publish a data, my computer will be notified and will receive this data. This is the command to uh, subscribe. The uh, each parameter stands for host, which is in my case uh, my computer and the T parameter is for the topic which is a test. Now my computer is worth, uh, waiting for a publisher. Uh, don't close the window. Now with a new window, I will try to publish a data. For that, we will use the command uh, with the M parameter, so M for a message. And as you can see, in the subscriber window, I'm receiving the message. Now I'm sure that my server is working fine. We can move to step 2. You will need to download the MQTT library. You will find it in the resources category. Now let's go to uh, Tunyot for ESP32. First, I will connect it to the Wi-Fi network. You should call this block once after connecting to the Wi-Fi. It will contain the address of your broker.
every time you need to work with the MQTT protocol, you need to call all these four blocks. To publish a data, we will use the MQTT publish block. You should put the data that you want to publish into a variable. Now we are ready to upload the program. As you can see, in the subscriber window, I'm receiving the number from the ESP32 board. So now I will try to send a string variable like on or off. Here I will delete all the use of the i variable and create a new string variable. Every 5 seconds, I will publish on or off. Now we will move to step 3, where the ASP32 will be subscribed to a topic and will be waiting for any data. This is the block that we will use. The callback function will trigger uh, will be triggered sorry when any device will publish a data on our broker so here i will display that uh, data
Here, I will try to publish a data from my computer. And as you can see, it is working. The ESP32 is receiving the data. Now you are ready to use the MQTC protocol with the ESP32. In the end, I hope that you like the video and see you soon. Bye.